Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SLTV Lab. So my name is Mr. Shadrach Habumrebi. Today I'm going to show you a video about anatomy of the heart. On this heart. Good, please stick on this video from the beginning up to the end. And please don't forget to place the subscribe button and like the video. And why not share it to your colleagues? Good. This lower part of the heart, it is called the apex. And this upper part of the heart, it is called the base. You get me? This is the apex and this is the base. And here we are viewing the heart anteriorly. This is the anterior part of the heart. So, good. Guys, this is the superior vena cava. And this is the inferior vena cava. These are the blood vessels that bring the I mean the blood back into the heart. Good. Superior and inferior vena cava. Good. This is called the right atrium oracle. It's the one that covers the right atrium. Good. So we continue. When blood comes into the heart, through the inferior and superior vena cava, blood comes into the right atrium. This is the right atrium. Good. Let me cover it again. Good. The right atrium. So when blood gets into the right atrium, then it will continue downward into, this is called the right ventricle. And before it reaches into the right ventricle, it passes through this part called tricuspid valve. This is the valve that connects the right atrium to the right ventricle. It is called tricuspid valve because it has these three cusps. Good. And this is the right ventricle. Right ventricle, left ventricle. When blood has reached into the right ventricle, it will be pumped out of the heart through the pulmonary arteries. Remember, this blood that goes through this part, it is disoxygenated blood, blood without oxygen. So this is the right pulmonary artery, and this is the Rift pulmonary artery. So, there are two branches of pulmonary arteries. There is rift one, and there is the right one that passes under the, this part called iota. Good. And then, before it gives out two branches, this is called the pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk is the one that gives out two branches. Good. When blood get oxygen from the lungs, it will then come back into the heart. Through these parts, these are called the pulmonary veins. These are two rift pulmonary veins. And then on the other side, the right one, there are other two pulmonary veins, which means we have four pulmonary veins. Two on the rift, and two on the right side. Good. So blood will come back into the right, I mean the rift ventricle. Here we see what we call a tricuspid valve, I mean bicuspid valve or mitral valve. Here, remember here it was tricuspid because it has three cusps. Here they are called, it is called bicuspid because it has two cusps and it is also called mitral valve. Then when blood reaches into the rift ventricle, it will be pumped out of the heart and goes into the iota. This is called the iota. This is the one that will distribute blood into all other parts of the body. You see, iota has three branches, three main branches. This one is called brachiocephalic. 
brachiocephalic. This one is called the right carotid, common carotid artery, and this is reft subcravian artery. Reft subcravian artery, reft common carotid artery, this is cephalo, brachiocephalic branch of the iota. Good. We have seen these parts of the heart, but now let's see just clearly what we call coronal circulation. Coronal circulation is just circulation on the heart itself. You see, here we see an artery. This is on the right side. It is called right coronal artery. This is the right coronal artery. When it reaches here, it gives this main branch. It's called marginal artery. You see, this is right marginal artery. Good. Here on the left side, we see another artery. This is called left coronal artery. Here it was the right coronal artery. This is the left coronal artery. But on at the lateral side of this left coronal artery, we see another artery that is called circumflex artery. You know, it's called circumflex because it turns around the heart. This is the circumflex artery. Good. This is rift coronal artery. And this, this blue one is a vein. It is called great, I mean great uh, heart vein or great cardiac vein. It is called great cardiac vein. Good. These are the main blood vessels on the anterior side of the heart. Let's go on the posterior side. This is the, the, the vein that I've said is called great cardiac vein or great heart vein. Good. This is still the circumflex artery. Circumflex artery. Good. So, here we see the posterior interventricular artery. Posterior interventricular artery. This is the artery between ventricles. And remember here, I have forgotten to tell you, this is called also the anterior interventricular artery. It is a branch of the rift coronal artery. The anterior interventricular artery, the posterior interventricular artery. And this vein, it is called middle cardiac vein. Remember here it was great cardiac vein. Here it is the middle cardiac vein. And this is posterior rift ventricular vein. Posterior rift ventricular vein. Good. This is still the branch of the right coronal artery. Remember, this is the right coronal artery. It keeps going toward the posterior here. It is the right coronal artery. So, God, good. In brief, this is the anatomy of the heart. But before we stop, you see, when you take off these great vein, I mean, great blood, uh, blood vessels, you can see clearly the superior vena cover, the inferior vena cover. You can see clearly this is the pulmonary trunk. There are other, what we call valves, between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. There are other valves. We call it pulmonary valve. And here, before blood reaches into the iota, there is another valve. We call it, we call it aortic valve. So guys, thank you. This is the brief about anatomy of the heart. So guys, let me thank you for watching this video. And please support this channel by just clicking the subscribe button and share the video to your colleagues 
may god bless you so much see you in another video next time don't forget to please like subscribe and the bell